Good morning. It's a pleasure to welcome you in the first global workshops on, on Onto Commons project. My name is Nadia Damovic, I'm the coordinator of the project, and um, I will present you briefly the project and say some words of, of, uh, about the workshop in the upcoming days. I will start my presentation now. I hope that you can see my slides. Uh, I will use the opportunity in next 15-20 minutes uh, to present you the project. Uh, I can imagine that um, uh, some participants are not familiar with Onto Commons project. Uh, this project uh, is a Horizon 2020 project. It was submitted under the topic towards standardized documentation of data through taxonomies and ontologies. It is a coordination and support action type of the project. Uh, the duration is three years. Uh, we are finalizing the first year of the project just now. And uh, the budget um, uh, of the project is about 4.2 million euros. We have 19 project partners from 10 European countries. 15 out of them are research centers or universities and four companies. And you see uh, with uh, logos, you can, you can see who is involved in the consortium. The main goal of the project is to uh, support overcoming interoperability bottlenecks and facilitate data sharing and data valorization. This will be achieved uh, by three objectives, um, three main objectives of the project. And the first one is to build onto Commons community to establish cooperation and engage stakeholder in the project. For instance, uh, uh, one of actions to do that is by organizing uh, this type of workshops like we have this week. Uh, this is a very, very important um, objective of the project because this is a coordination and support action project and uh, a lot of effort uh, within uh, Onto Commons is put to bring the people together and uh, to establish uh, collaboration, cooperation and to bring, uh, to build this community. The second objective of the project is uh, to build the uh, Onto Commons ecosystem as a foundation for data documentation. And this ecosystem um, will be proved and effectiveness of the system will be proved by a large number of demonstrators uh, that we have uh, already now in the project, but many more will be included also in the later state, stage of the project. Uh, here we um, uh, rely on, on external resources, in particular, for instance, on demonstrators which are funded uh, by, uh, by other European projects or potentially internally in, in, in different companies. These demonstrator, the demonstrators will help us to provide ready to use ontologies, tools and data samples for dissemination purposes in the project. I just mentioned that we will work uh, on cooperation, engagement of stakeholders. Uh, we um, uh, establish uh, uh, synergies and cooperation with relevant bodies and initiatives like, for instance, um, industry commons projects. Uh, various associations, uh, standardization bodies and infrastructures like European Open Science Cloud, for instance. And we need to ensure that Onto Commons represents the interest of uh, these stakeholder groups. Uh, I mentioned that the second objective of the project is to build the ecosystem. This is really the core of the project. Um, and uh, this ecosystem is composed of a number of ontologies which fulfill 
um, uh, specific uh, requirements to be a part of this system, and not every ontology is a part, but those that fulfill requirements are a part of the system. And we have a uh, different level of ontologies from the top level until the application level. And it is important to mention that uh, within Onto Commons, uh, we have a pluralistic approach that we didn't confine ourselves on one single top level ontology for the reason of inclusivity. Uh, but we work with a several top level ontologies um, uh, as a part of this system. Beside uh, ontologies, uh, part of the systems are also diverse tools which support building of ontologies and data documentation. Uh, on this slide, you can see uh, the structure of the project. Basically, these are also the work packages which we have. A lot of attention is put on community development, on establishing of cooperation, engagement of the stakeholders in the project. Then we have um, uh, activities on design of the ecosystem, on specifications, requirements, methodologies, tools. Um, then we have activities on the top level ontologies and mid level ontologies. Some development within the project is foreseen uh, on the top level. Um, and of course, um, uh, what is very important are agreements uh, in the community regarding top level ontologies. Um, then we have um, uh, activities on the domain level. Uh, we will have we will use um, for demonstrators existing ontologies and we'll work on harmonization of these ontologies. But some new ontologies um, will be developed within the project as well. In the case that uh, involved uh, demonstration cases require that. I just mentioned that uh, we have a number of stakeholders. Uh, we have different groups, like you can see in these orange boxes. Uh, first of all, um, who are the stakeholders, domain experts, like um, scientists, chemists, physicists. Then we have ontologists, we have implementers, like for instance, ontology uh, developers, industrial stakeholders, manufacturers, data providers, business developers, and then business uh, ecosystem stakeholders, like for instance, cross-domain uh, developers. You see um, what I also mentioned is a part of the project, uh, a lot of work on ontologies, on the ecosystem, on the demonstration, a lot of activities happening on cooperation regarding standardization and infrastructures. And what you see in these blue boxes now, uh, these are focus areas of Onto Commons project. And we according, accordingly invite uh, all stakeholders, all, all um, participants, experts in the field uh, to join our community through the website uh, of Onto Commons project in the case you didn't do <laughs> uh, yet. Uh, and we are, of course, um, happy to, to uh, collaborate uh, with uh, external experts and to work uh, together on the program of Onto Commons. The project uh, targets different domains. Uh, mainly, uh, we uh, work uh, in the domain of materials and manufacturing, but not only. There are a number of demonstrator cases covering different NMVP uh, domains. Uh, then a uh, project will enable intra and cross domain interoperability, will work on harmonization of data documentation, will deliver a number of demonstration cases. And what is very important is to ensure sustainability once the project comes to its end. And it's already time to work on that uh, since the beginning of the project. On this slide, uh, you see major results of the project. Uh, first of all, um, you see one uh, violet point down. 
first of all, it is to build a community. And how do we do it? It's basically uh, through organization of various events like this one uh, on, on the global workshop, where we put together uh, external stakeholders to discuss a number of uh, different topics covered uh, by the project. Um, and then together with you, with participants in the workshop uh, and additional workshops, additional uh, interviews, uh, webinars, which we, which we already organized until now, we prepare strategic reports um, uh, and major strategic report uh, will be on the Commons uh, roadmap uh, that we will start to work on um, end of this month. So basically after um, this large workshop and taking account a number of previous uh, workshops organized by the project, we will start to work on the community roadmap. So your input is extremely important and we are really happy uh, if you are active and if you, uh, if you, uh, pro if you provide your views and, and opinion on, on different topics because this will be taken account and we will, uh, we will um, prepare final reports and, and take it account for, for the roadmap. Uh, we work on methodological framework for ontology development and documentation on the development of the ecosystem. Um, and um, you see also a list of initial uh, demonstrator cases. These are only which we had on the beginning of the project. Now we are defining additional 10 uh, to, to these. And there is also a list of um, of uh, additional demonstrators uh, which are funded through different European projects. So I can say that currently we are talking about 30 different um, uh, demonstrator cases in, in the project. Um, what is the status uh, on ontologies today? Ontologies recognizes valuable solution for interoperability but there are um, some drawbacks like listed here. There are many ontologies that are built often in ad hoc ways by independent groups. There is no common methodology for the development. Uh, very often some of them have a short lifetime. Uh, they're dependent on, on the source of funding. Uh, there is no commonly accepted quality standards, uh, poor training, poor documentation, uh, and very often, in particular by industry, the use of ontologies is faced uh, with skepticism in some domains, in some groups. And the situation is that ontologies are not interoperable themselves. So this is the reason we work on our program in Onto Commons. And uh, first of all, uh, we are developing a top reference ontology, which is composed of meta ontology and a set of top level ontologies, like some of them mentioned here are BFO, Dodge, and Demo. And these meta ontologies are part of the development uh, within uh, the project. Uh, it will be a foundation for interoperability between state-of-the-art top-level ontologies. The project um, uh, has the goal to provide data documentation harmonization through one single ontology, but not only that. It has a goal to provide harmonization between ontologies as well, and this will be done uh, through different levels of alignments in the project. Uh, more about it, we will have opportunity to discuss in separate session. I will not have a time to go in more detail here. We have um, intra-ontology interoperability is a capability to enable data sharing between a single semantic representation of data, one single top-level ontology. 
And uh, in addition, uh, we work on interontology interoperability capability to enable data sharing between different semantic representations of data or different branches of top level ontologies. Uh, what we will achieve with our project in, in terms of impact is um, in trend cross domain data documentation meeting uh, fair data principles. Uh, it, uh, the project will allow or support practical user friendly reusability of data across different domains. It will enable uh, maintenance and um, development of ontologies and data documentation in order to ensure long-term relevance. Uh, we'll facilitate uptake of new project results uh, through, through the ecosystem that we develop. We'll support interoperable software solutions in the domains of materials, processing, manufacturing, and, and additional as well. And will support the building of the community and provide in this way also better integrated development environment in Europe. With this, uh, I will uh, finalize my short presentation about the project and I will say some words about the workshop, which we just start now and it will last the full week um, uh, until Friday. Uh, why? Uh, why do we uh, have this workshop? Uh, we, we want to provide a platform for all participants to interact, to exchange the information and to, uh, to provide views uh, on, on different topics uh, that will be discussed. Um, and I just mentioned also that your input will be extremely important uh, for the roadmap that has really a bottom-up approach and every expert in Europe uh, is invited to collaborate with us and, and to support this activity. Uh, not only this one single workshop is relevant, it's a large workshop, of course, this is one of main uh, workshops, but we had plenty of uh, topic-specific uh, webinars, surveys, workshops until now in the first project year, and all of them together will, uh, will support um, uh, preparation of these strategic documents. Uh, we start every day with um, um, plenary talks. Um, after my talk, we will have the first plenary talk uh, in the workshop. Uh, then we have also a slot uh, for uh, poster presentations, very brief, uh, short poster presentation in the field of onto commons. And then uh, after that, um, we have two parallel sessions, um, which are uh, which are completely related to the program of, um, uh, of uh, Onto Commons projects. And within this session, you will have uh, opportunity uh, to discuss uh, various topics and, and simply to interact uh, with, with us. It's a, not a conference, really. We would like you to be engaged uh, and to, to provide your view. We have uh, for each session one person devoted as a rapporteur who is taking notes uh, and uh, uh, basically on discussions uh, we will have uh, reports that will then contribute uh, to the road roadmap. At the end of each day we have one session uh, which lasts about half an hour and with this session, um, it's a summary session, uh, we invite um, uh, one representative of, of the sessions that were held on this day uh, to present uh, briefly uh, topics of discussion within each session, outcomes, uh, major uh, conclusions, um, and this will be then presented uh, within the summary session. In addition, there is then opportunity again uh, to interact, to ask questions, to add comments, because people can be either in one or another parallel session. It might be that you wish, um, um, in addition, to, uh, to contribute to, to other sessions as well. 
um, here you see uh, uh, chapters of the roadmap, and if you see titles, um, you recognize immediately that these titles are, are directly related to the sessions of the workshop, which we have this week. Um, now it's very easy to see that um, session reports can be, can be very well integrated in the roadmap. And with red letters, so, so this is something what I would like uh, to, uh, to stress now, that this is something uh, what we want to collect um, uh, during this workshop. It's really to, uh, to understand needs of the industry on a specific topic on, in, within the, the, the topic of the session. Uh, to understand what is the current situation, what is the state of the art, where we are today, what are gaps, what is missing, where we want to go, uh, what is our vision um, uh, on, on the specific uh, topic, and uh, what is the way, which steps do we need to undertake in order to get there? What do we recommend uh, to do in order uh, to reach uh, these, these goals? Um, so this is not a conference. I would um, like to stress to speakers, impulse speakers, plenary speakers, to, to have this in mind, mind uh, because we, this is something what we would like as much as possible to collect uh, from, from you. We have seven plenary talks in the workshop today. We have one uh, to, tomorrow too. You see that uh, the number of plenary speakers is not the same on every day. It's simply uh, related to availability of speakers. And these plenary talks uh, are more generic talks and, and they introduce uh, this session which uh, follow up uh, on this day. Uh, we have uh, four, uh, four sessions per day normally uh, on the first three days of the workshop. Just on Friday, we have only in the morning two sessions. And you see that sessions which we have, these are titles, Industry Commons Translator, uh, or ontology interoperability. So to these sessions contribute directly uh, to, uh, to focus area of um, uh, onto commons. So this is just a list of those uh, which we have in the program as well. Uh, and this is what I mentioned. Please join uh, this summary session. It's typically very interesting in a five minutes to hear what are the major um, discussion results, conclusions uh, for, for that day and the opportunity to provide some more comments. With this, I would like uh, to thank to the scientific committee, to the organizing committee of this workshop. It, it is always uh, a lot of work to prepare, to design the workshop, and I thank uh, a lot to the colleagues who, who did significant work on that. I thank to the whole consortium that contributed with suggestions and, and inputs. Uh, and with that, with this, I would like uh, to finish my presentation. I thank you for your attention, and I wish us a fruitful discussion, successful workshop, and a lot of useful input that will flow to onto Commons roadmap. So with this, um, I stop sharing the presentation. Uh, and we are coming uh, to the first plenary talk uh, of today. Uh, it will be given by Ver Vu. Um, she's a president of uh, International Association for Ontology and its application. It's a pleasure to have you with us, Lor. Great to have you. You can you can show yourself now. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Um, uh, just uh, briefly, so so your the title of the talk is I think it's very very um, um, self understanding. When we read the title, it's completely clear uh, what the talk is going to be about. Your a founding member of the association that was uh, started in 2009. So you have a history of 12 years of activities uh, in this field. I think you will present uh, also 
um, you will present it also in your talk and, and say some historical backgrounds and present also the current activities within the association and uh, also, of course, uh, what is ambition for the association in the future. Uh, you are um, a senior researcher working in CNRS in France, in, in Toulouse. Uh, you have a PhD in, in computer sciences um, and you have a lot of work and experience uh, in working with ontologies, with formal ontology, knowledge representation, formal semantics, and a lot of more. Uh, so thanks uh, a lot for being today with us um, and um, please uh, start your presentation. Just for, for participants, uh, you have opportunity to ask questions. Uh, please type in the chat. In the, uh, you, uh, there is also option question and answer. So you can uh, type your questions there and uh, after finishing the presentation of, of Lore, uh, then we will read them and, and Lore will be um, happy to reply on your questions. So let's have about 25 minutes presentation and then we have about 10 minutes uh, for questions and replies. There is also opportunity if you wish, uh, participants, if you wish to join the stage, uh, you can raise your hand and uh, the host uh, of the workshop will invite you to, to come to the stage and simply to, to ask and, and comment in the case you, you prefer to do so. So thank you and Laura, please, uh, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Nadia. Um, I'm very pleased to be invited to this uh, large, uh, significant uh, workshop on ontology uh, in an industrial, important industrial domain and, and scientific domain. Um, I, I really believe this is uh, the role IOA uh, has is to outreach to such a community. So thank you for inviting me. I, I hope I, I will uh, be able to en uh, um, encourage you to um, join IOA. <laughs> this is my goal behind my presentation today, in, in addition to give you uh, an outlook of what um, IOA has done and is doing. So um, briefly, I will present what IOA is and give a bit of uh, background and historical notes and uh, focus on its current activities and uh, present uh, ambitions and for the future. So IOA is an association, it's an international association for uh, ontology and its application for applied ontology. It's, uh, of course, uh, as an association not-for-profit organization. It was founded in 2009. And the, what the title doesn't say, it has a strong interdisciplinary focus. And its purpose is to promote. Uh, it has three free, uh, uh, objectives uh, to promote scientific exchange to promote education and training in applied ontology and to outreach to um, um, other communities that are um, supposed to be very important for applied ontology or should, should require applied ontology in, in their um, research. So let me focus first on why interdisciplinarity is so important for and in applied ontology. So in, in the view that uh, um, IOA develops on ontology and in its application is that we need several uh, to ground on ontological analysis on several scientific disciplines and foremost philosophical ontology, that is um, metaphysics and uh, with the methods of analytic philosophy. Uh, other disciplines are important as method is concerned and, and namely, of course, computer science and logics. But also, we, we also uh, want to stress that uh, we need to look at 
um, more uh, cognitive science disciplines like linguistics, philosophy of language, and um, the uh, psychology and the other cognitive sciences. This is very important because um, the concepts and the notions that uh, are fun from foundational in ontology are touched by a, a variety of um, cognitive science um, disciplines. And, and it's only when we join the methods of philosophy, uh, of analytic philosophy, computer science and logic, and look at all the contributions from those, uh, let's say, more um, uh, humanities uh, uh, areas, that we, we reach a real understanding of those foundational concepts and notions. And um, the notion of application also is as a, a strong interdisciplinary um, um, import because first foremost the application of the methods of ontological analysis is first to research areas so within conceptual modeling and knowledge representation uh, uh, ontological analysis is needed also for knowledge management and databases and as you of course are well aware for the information system development and interoperability interoperability of all of those systems. It's also very important uh, uh, and a long-standing uh, issue in library and information sciences to categorize topics. And it's, as you know, well, it's also essential. That's what your, I think your for, foremost uh, activity here is to see that uh, ontological analysis is essential in scientific research and it has been uh, quite very uh, quite quite largely applied in areas like biomedicines geography and uh, nowadays physics and mechanical engineering it's also uh, uh, important and you know that probably in uh, more semantic technologies and uh, basically natural language processing and information retrieval er research areas. So in, in a nutshell, interdisciplinarity in, for IOA is much more than just promoting the development and use of ontologies in a variety of information systems and applications domains. So it's not just applying the computational artifacts that are called ontologies, so one, two ontologies in um, application domains. This is, this is not what interdisciplinarity is for uh, IOA. It's much more um, bringing together all sorts of uh, disciplines and research areas together around this central notion of ontological analysis. So now, um, a bit of history, so I will just briefly review a, um, wh when did applied ontology arise. Um, basically, it uh, happened in the 90s, but uh, when the term ontology started to be uh, quite widely used in knowledge representation or the so-called symbolic AI that has uh, almost to be shadowed now by uh, machine learning approaches in, in what is called uh, artificial intelligence now. Uh, but the, f the first occurrence could be referred as far back as uh, in the 60s by uh, with uh, the reference to on the term ontology with a reference to philosophical uh, notion of ontology uh, in the computer science was appearing in uh, this uh, first paper uh, in 60s in the six, uh, 67 and then it became uh, quite uh, central in the um, in this uh, approach be defended by uh, Pat Heiss um, on the Naive Physics Manifesto. And uh, well, he developed a very famous uh, ontology of liquids, for instance, in, in, the, in the same years. And, and then, but then the, um, 
let's say the artificial intelligence community didn't embrace completely the the idea of uh, ontology and even the idea of logical um, uh, um, logical methods referring even to semantics uh, so and it's only in the 90s that really uh, it it was uh, fully launched and it was in a parallel in in the United States and in Italy, let's say, in, in Europe. So the American branch uh, uh, stressed the notion of this new computational artifact called an ontology. And so it was the, yeah, the launching of ontologies and a very famous paper by Tom Gruber in 93 is what is usually uh, taken for the, the reference for what what's the the meaning of an ontology. And on, in parallel, there was a, lo a lot of activity uh, in, in Europe, uh, around uh, in Italy itself. And, and the, the motto that uh, was reconstructed very, very recently uh, by Achille Vasi, a famous ontologist uh, philosopher, um, it was, let's say, it, it was the approach was a bit different. It was not focused on just computational artifacts, but it was saying, like, you cannot do a proper ontology without referring to the discipline, the philosophical discipline of ontology. And uh, there was a, a very uh, seminal workshop in '93 on formal ontology in conceptual analysis and knowledge representation run in Padova in '93. And in fact, Nicola Guarino, who uh, ran this, uh, uh, who started this workshop with Roberto Poli, had a pivotal role in shaping our community. So in, in, in the late 90s, uh, after a series of uh, events, he uh, founded the conference series of uh, FOIS, Formal Ontology in Information Systems. And then in the 2005, he launched with Mark Musen uh, the Applied Ontology Journal uh, with Virus Press. Um, right now, the Applied Ontology is chaired by, as a, um, the uh, main editors, Roberta Ferrario and Michael Gruninger. And uh, in 2009, to uh, uh, conclude this shaping of the community, uh, Nicola Guarino, together with uh, uh, about uh, uh, 20 uh, founded uh, members, founding members, he launched uh, this our association I'm talking about today. And and since then, IOA uh, uh, or it's actually its executive council serves as a steering committee for FOIS and which has become its flagship conference and also has a, a strong agreement with iOS Press so that uh, the journal uh, Applied Ontology is accessible to all uh, IOA members. So um, IOA was founded in 2009 in Italy as an Italian association. Of course, it, it, uh, it's inter international, but it has to be run in a specific place. And we, for um, a more... Uh, more flexibility in administration, we switched to Switzerland in uh, 2018. And Nicola Guarino, as a founder, of course, but was the uh, first uh, president, then a, a Michael Gruninger took over, and I'm, I'm a president since uh, 2019. The current executive council is uh, half uh, in uh, Northern America and half in Europe. And you can see the, the, the people who help uh, uh, um, managing uh, in a very active way uh, IOA this year, this year. And in previous years, uh, of course, um, the, the spread of uh, the countries involved in, in IOA was shown also at the executive council. So we had uh, members from Brazil, Japan, South Africa, Switzerland, and, and UK. So in, in international and interdisciplinarity is, is, is a real thing at, at IOA. 
So what are the current activities? So as uh, expressed, we um, the, the one main uh, purpose is to foster scientific exchange. And this is run through the flagship conference of FOIS, uh, Formal Ontology and Information Systems. And the last one was held in, in September this year. And together with uh, the joint ontology workshops, an annual event. So FOIS is run every other year and, and JOVO is run every year. And it's particularly big, important when for uh, non-FOIS years. And we have as well a uh, more focused uh, summer institute where uh, uh, researchers and practitioners st uh, study together a specific topic for a full week. We also support other scientific events across the world. These are the, the three main events um, run by IOA itself. And we also have uh, as a second uh, important purpose is to promote education and training. We also have educational events, uh, namely the Interdisciplinary Summer School on Applied Ontology or ISAO uh, starting in 2012. And a very recent uh, um, um, event, um, initiative called the uh, Educational Series on Applied Ontology that I will talk about uh, next. So uh, just to focus on the topics of FOIS uh, to see what's going on right now. So um, FOIS has, has actually happened twice uh, because of COVID pandemic. Uh, we, we had a, a, a FOIS 2020 uh, that was not uh, happening physically. And so it ran again in 2021 this year as a physical event. And um, so papers uh, ranged from foundational issues, as, uh, classical uh, issues in, in uh, formal ontology of merology, but also universals, time, dispositions, and then uh, uh, current very active the currently very active um, topics are social entities, informational entities or concepts, and as well as uh, intentionality commitment and a new topic is about embodiment. Regarding methods and applications, there is always uh, ontology design and development uh, methodologies discussed. There is a new transfer learning uh, issue of um, um, uh, joining uh, knowledge, let's say, uh, symbolic and, and uh, machine learning uh, approaches. Uh, but also, of course, the model finding and debugging issues are, are tag uh, tackled. Domains uh, are just impossible to, to list them all, but uh, robotics, biomedicine, law, cultural heritage are, are quite strong. Of, and in uh, forces uh, back to as not only uh, is not only a venue for research paper, but it's also uh, as an ontology ontology showcase and demonstrations and an early career symposium for uh, new, um, young researchers. Jovo and uh, is run annually. So here I I, I, I show uh, the list of the workshops that was were run last year and this year. So you see that there are um, a variety of uh, topics and, and, and focus. So cognition and ontologies, deep learning meets ontology and natural language processing, formal ontology meets industry, fund, uh, also workshop on fund, dedicated to foundational ontologies or top level ontology, let's say. Uh, uh, relationship between ontologies and conceptual modeling, uh, ontology for robotics, uh, knowledge graph and engineering, uh, ontology for social, legal, and economic entities, and uh, issues on modularity, contextuality, and evolution. Um, and a second very important objective is uh, education and training. And we have, uh, since iOS creation, a technical committee dedicated to education. Um, Act, its activities uh, have been to um, um, to 
uh, gather resources. So uh, uh, an important activity was to gather a term list with definitions so people can refer to and see the variety of uh, subtle uh, changes in, in term and senses, meanings being used in the community. Uh, and to um, gather an inventory of courses, books, and other educational material around the world. Importantly, um, the Education Technical Committee uh, serves as a steering committee for our interdisciplinary summer school on applied ontology, which is run every other year, but uh, was cancelled due to the pandemic uh, in uh, 2020 and 21st. So next time it will be in 2023, I believe, and uh, joined with FOIS uh, always, and the week before FOIS. And it has a strong interdisciplinary focus so that uh, people, uh, young researchers from uh, one discipline can uh, learn about other disciplines that are uh, grounding uh, applied ontology. Um, a, a very recent initiative that has been just launched in September is uh, to complement these uh, summer school events uh, by an, an educational series um, of webinars and its uh, archive of videos and podcasts. So it uh, a lasting archive and, uh, at any time people can refer to. So it's uh, really starting. We had a launch day with a series of seven, seven uh, uh, talks, and that will be archived now. And we have a, our very first webinar session uh, next week, exactly. Um, the, the third uh, purpose is to outreach to communities. And this is uh, run with through um, uh, in particular through the, uh, the uh, special interest group on semantic web and applied ontology that uh, aims at bridging the gap between uh, semantic web and the uh, applied ontology community. So it's promoting the use of applied ontology in the semantic web, but also uh, uh, having an exchange of each other uh, research areas that could impact the other. And they are uh, very active since 2013. They have monthly meetings, uh, their own section of the uh, IOA wiki and mailing lists. And they produce regular reports and papers at conference. And in particular, they produced an applied ontology special issue in 2017 on the role of ontologies in linked data, big data, and semantic web application. And so you can join, of course, this uh, special interest group. And, and we have a very uh, recent and ramping up um, initiative on as a, a technical committee on industry and standards, which has a dual uh, overlapping purpose to um, promote applied ontology in industry in the broad sense. Um, and to uh, also um, be aware of and, and liaising with, with the, all the standards and standardization initiatives. This is co-chaired by Stefano Borgo, who is, um, a part, um, of course, implied in, implicated in, involved in uh, Onto Commons, and you know well, Michael Gruninger and Amada Wisdom. Um, this industry and standards technical committee uh, serves uh, as steering committee for the workshop for, um, for me, uh, formal ontology meets industry. Last one was uh, as, as Ojovo and, and Foyce workshops uh, in September. They also have their own section of the wiki and mailing list, but they, they, um, um, their act activities uh, uh, are still um, increasing. In, Well, uh, finally, uh, we uh, we keep evolving, and we uh, are working towards a uh, ever a more ambitious future. And uh, very recently, uh, and actually current uh, uh, now, we um, in intend to expand our membership through uh, the new free membership scheme, which is being implemented right now. So uh, 
around uh, 100 or up to 150 members uh, where um, depending on the four years and uh, appearing, we, we had the membership um, quite focused on and, and uh, but in line with voice uh, participation. But uh, now with this new scheme, we plan to um, uh, reach double, let's say, almost double the, our participation. And this is uh, uh, this is going to be real because we during uh, voice and uh, the whole of the the Bolzano or some of knowledge uh, event in which voice appeared this year, uh, we um, outreach to a, a very large community and um, over two two hundred and fifty people declared their interest in joining IOA. So please. Also, I will claim that you 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 could join us and 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 work together in our um, in with our objectives. You you are probably very precious in uh, especially in let's say in uh, joining the ISTC um, uh, um, technical committee. So we also. Keep, want to keep increasing the, the awareness of applied ontology as a discipline and promoting its outreach by uh, always uh, increasing the uh, interdisciplinary scientific community which is involved, increasing the community of practitioners involved, and this by um, keeping working with uh, our events and, and Jovo in particular is a very successful event, always increasing. Um, and the tech, new technical committees uh, allow us to um, make, make sure we keep increasing our this this aspect. So I'm, I'm I need to finish. I see. Um, so uh, and and then last but not least, we want to keep developing efficient education on applied ontology. Uh, and, and this in particular with the, our developing uh, educational, uh, tech, the educational technical committee activities with this new ESAO uh, initiative, we, we believe uh, this will help people understanding and um, ap approaching from an ontology which is uh, not straightforward uh, domain. It's, it's hard and it has to be studied in deep, in depth, and this is why education is particularly important. So I will uh, thank you now for your attention, and I hope to welcome you at IOA. Maybe, for instance, uh, with uh, a Nonto Commons workshop at next uh, Jovo in two, uh, next year, in 2022, for instance. Thank you very much uh, for, for this very interesting presentation of the association. I see several questions and um, uh, we, we are already a little bit out of time, a little bit, couple of minutes behind the schedule. So I will leave, uh, uh, read the questions. Um, so the first one from Simon Grant, uh, when will the new membership scheme be ready? Yes, this is a very interesting uh, <laughs> an important uh, point. So it was supposed to be ready during FOIS, and we are uh, actually a bit late, but uh, this is going to be, I mean, in the next few days, uh, the, the last, uh, uh, it has been tested already, and but the, la the last uh, um, aspects will be, so we will, we will be ready uh, really in the next few days. I will we please keep tuned you'll see that uh in the on the website obviously on the main front page uh which i can share right now but you will also uh you can subscribe already to ioa general um you see that on the website and so you can get a, a, a message directly in your main mailbox and of course we will uh send a message to all those people who already uh, pre-subscribe to uh, IOA this way. 
Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot. Uh, I see uh, similar questions. Melinda asked also, "How do we sign up?" I, I guess. Uh, uh, yeah, go go to the to the mail. Uh, you can mm -hmm. write an email to uh, IOA info info at ioa.org. So um, maybe I can write this. So, and you you can see that also on the main on the. You can see that also on the i sent it i i believe so now i will stop presenting this and i can share the, the um, window this this is the i think i hope you can see it so this is iowa website and here you can go and 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 on the you can join IOA and you can contact IOA basically here. The contact is here and you can send the mail there and we'll make sure to um, insert you. Meanwhile, uh, joining IOA is not active, otherwise you join IOA directly there, uh, here. But uh, send by sending an email there, you will make sure to not to lose uh, the information. Mm -hmm. There is one concrete question. Where can we sign up for the ESAO webinar, which is on the 9th of November from Iker Gonzalez? So you, so you don't need to sign up. You, you will have a, a, a link available. Uh, and uh, again, it will be up here, just like uh, we have uh, dynamic uh, website, you will have the information there and also on the IOM member uh, mailing list. Mm -hmm. Okay. You don't need to oh, sign Okay, up. that's great. And there is also a question if you can uh, add it maybe in the in the chat. Uh, question, can someone please post the link to the general website? I guess maybe you can copy the link okay. and provide in the chat function yes, yes. i i saw really a lot of um a lot of um, topics uh, which might be really relevant for onto commons project to collaborate with your association and they read uh, the same comment from silvana Muchella from trust it company um who is also involved uh, in in onto commons um and so we will for sure have uh, additional discussions uh, on, on follow-up uh, joint activities. Thanks a lot for this very interesting presentation. And uh, we are a little bit behind the schedule. Let's um, um, potentially there might be a further on discussion with Lur in chat, or you can join uh, the table outside uh, uh, together and and discuss further on on, on different other questions related to association. So we are coming to the next um, uh, topic of the agenda, and this is related to the poster presentation of the European project VIP code. And the presentation will be given by Natalia Konchakova from uh, Helmholtz Centrum Hereon from Germany. And please, Natalia, uh, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Nadia. I will share my screen um, and I hope you can see the poster. Can you see yes. it? Yes, we do it. Yes, we see it. Okay, okay, yeah. Thank you very much. First of all, I would like to thank the organizer to give our this place to present the uh, project and this ongoing um, activities. Yes. Sorry, um, Natalia, we saw your poster, but it d disappeared again. So maybe you can restart and, uh, sharing. Now? Not yet. We saw it before, but somehow it is now we see it. Mm -hmm. That's fine. OK, good. Good, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Um, I would like to present today this ongoing work on the way of a protective coating ontology, um, which we are uh, doing together with a group of researchers, Peter Klein, Thomas Hagen, um, Heinz Preisling, and myself 
in the frame of the code project, it is yeah, a young project, we are only six months yeah, um, from the starting. And um, this project and this activity is yeah, absolutely um, in uh, the um, direction or from the collaboration with uh, On Performance Project. Um, because uh, we are working uh, to establish an ontology-based open innovation platform for the development of inhibiting active protective coatings and accelerated corrosion tests for um, assessing their in-service uh, durability. And we uh, will develop um, this yeah, um, domain-specific ontologies for coating industry. Um, we are working together with uh, 12 partners, uh, small and uh, large uh, industry, um, and uh, we are uh, looking for the mainly extreme, uh, extreme um, application case uh, of the coating for uh, airspace industry. Um, um, but we are providing this modeling and optimization support uh, from uh, the formulation of uh, nano um, particles and these yeah, uh, nano uh, inhibitors. Um, after that, this next step, it is formulation of coatings. And uh, the last step, it is application um, and using the coatings for airspace industry. Uh, Deepcode develops uh, interoperable uh, apps based on a generic coating ontology linking to the AMMO to support industrial product design. Um, the um, project promotes the manufacturing of a green active protective coatings based on materials modeling and optimization, as I uh, talked. And uh, we are developing four applications, uh, uh, industrial applications with the different yeah, uh, um, properties of the uh, pro protective coatings. In the frame of the projects, we will implement a quadrihelix innovation model for the project's uh, development and utilization to, the, to drive the open innovation process. And um, um, according for this concept, for um, uh, core participants, it is industry, research center or universities, government and regulations body and society will be involved in, uh, to drive this process. The focus uh, and why we are using ontologies, it is to, auto, uh, to provide the automatic uh, cost over coding development and model use. Uh, as the documentation of the modeling, yeah, um, um, modeling and uh, link model and simulation workflow. Um, there are physical topologies, ontology for simulation, modeling, and optimization, as well as physical inter um, interpretation of modeling and uh, simulation interoperability infrastructure as middle level ontologies and AMMO as the top level ontologies to simulation workflow. We are working with a close collaboration with other projects, especially Open Translation Environment, Ontotrans, Materials Modeling Marketplaces, and yeah, uh, we have based our activities of uh, uh, business decision supports results of this project. We presented our uh, ongoing work on the forming workshop with Laura yeah, mentioned in her talk, first yeah, talk, and um, more examples and um, yeah, more details we would like to discuss with you yeah, during the workshop or all workshops. All yeah, uh, participants are active yeah, uh, now and participating in the workshop whole week. Um, please, yeah, we can organize the table on the platform. Um, Peter Klein will uh, demonstrate was one example related to translation in the frame of the project. Uh, his yeah, talk will be the first talk in the uh, translation uh, section today. You can yeah, join this section and yeah, discuss it. And here is demonstration examples. You can see the pictures uh, about the driven and physical-based modeling um, 
which we develop in, uh, in the project. Uh, it has initial model here, uh, but only for the inhibitor um, developments, and it is machine learning yeah, um, approach and physical physics-based modeling for inhibitor leaching. And the idea is how we can bring this automatization uh, of uh, modeling documentation using the ontology. I think that's in my Thanks. five minutes as now. Thanks, yeah. Natalia, yeah. for, for your presentation. You're a little bit behind the schedule. Um, now we will start a short break until uh, until 11.45. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, I guess during Thank the you. break you will be available on the of table for, for further questions and, and replies. Uh, thanks a lot uh, to uh, you. a lot of okay. you and and to your to you Natalia as well and um, we will have we will start the coffee break and after the coffee break we have two parallel sessions uh, one session is on industry commons translator and another session is ontology interoperability and we are happy to see you back at eleven forty five. Thanks a lot and see you later.